Welcome to the series of how this render was made. Today we are going to analyze this project made by Hossein Yadaliapur, an artist from Iran. First they made the plans of the house in AutoCAD. Then they took all the AutoCAD views to 3 Dismal, where from those views they modeled and extruded the geometry. For the creation of the stairs, they used the plugin Artake and Create Stairs. It is an excellent and easy way to build a staircase in 3ds Max. For the fences, they used the Rail Clone plugin from Ito Software. For the wooden parquet, I used the Floor Generator plugin. I will leave you all the links in the description. To model Mr. Swimmer, they used this brush software and the ZBUILDERV plugin. First, here where we see marked, Click on Starts Builder to run the program. Here marked with the number 2 in Edit Pose to create the desired pose. Here with the number 3 you can control the changes in the joints and see them by clicking on any part of the body. Once the changes have been made in Pose, finish the work with Don't Pose and then click on Get Model to return to this brush environment. To make the water bubbles, we simulated the particles with the Phoenix plugin in 3 Dismal and converted it to Mesh by the Frost. To create the clothes, use the Marvelous Designer program because the simulation in this software is simple and nice to simulate fabrics and high quality results are obtained. The hair of the character was also with this same program and the skin was created in 3ds Max. To create the tree, they used the Speed Tree software. For the creation of the environment was inspired by Greece. First he modeled the terrain in 3 Dismal, then he used the terrain plugin and then went on to work with 3ds Max functions. For the rocks, he used Quixel Megaskins models. He put together several models, modified them in 3ds Max and then passed them to his brush. Before simulating the sea, you have to take into account the land under the sea because it has a significant impact on the result. First I create a simple surface with the terrain plugin in 3ds Max and then work it in his brush to create the ideal shape. The textures of the rocks are from Mard Textures. He created the final details with the displacement modifier. To generate water, he used the Phoenix plugin. Using Corona Render, there was no possibility to render foam made by Phoenix, so he simulated the sea without foam. And to create the foam, he found related images on the internet, made plans in 3ds Max, attributed water as material, and removed the edge of the image with the opacity map. For the scattering models like trees and plants, he used the Forest Pack plugin. When you do a project of this size, project management is important. I use the forensic tool for project management. The link will be in the description. But note that this plugin works online. Once installed, you can manage the general scene information. Even if the scene has a virus, you can remove it. As for lighting, these are the settings in Hdri I used. This one downloaded from CG Source. This one downloaded from Peter Guthrie and this one downloaded also from Peter Guthrie, and adding the Corona Sun. In this image we can see the settings I used in Corona Render. As for the post-production, everything was done in O3Dia, and just some color corrections were made with Photoshop. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.